Welcome to the Weeb Lounge. This is our review of the evil, diabolical, bad assassin lady, Semi Ramis, for Fate Grand Order. Now, the first thing you might notice is, uh, yeah, right here, the beard's scraggly beard that we had is gone well uh we attempted to trim it um things did not go as planned and now yeah mistakes were made anyways we'll just get on to the first skill first skill is an np charge 30 percent and debuff resists down up to 50 percent for one turn always like np charge uh but the, the debuff resist yeah yeah there's always a resist to a debuff resist, so to get a debuff resist to someone who's debuff resist, you see where I'm getting it. It's like an infinite circle. It's, yeah. Skill number two. NP generation up for three turns, up to 40%. An advantage change against casters for three turns. Now, what that advantage change does is basically it eliminates any weakness or vulnerability it makes it like a caster versus caster situation where the damage is all completely flat that can kind of come in handy but you know if you're bringing semi ramus or an assassin with you're probably going up against riders right if there happens to be a caster in the group i guess it could come in handy um really situational man skill number three and now in order to execute this skill, you need to have at least eight critical stars available. For those eight critical stars and executing the skill, you get a three turn poison and buster resist down 50% for three turns. Uh, the poison we do not care about at all. The dots in this game are horrendous. They're stupid. They're dumb. Don't care. No cares whatsoever. The Buster Resist down, though, that's good. That means you're going to do a whole bu bunch more damage with your Buster, everybody else's Buster. You can kind of think of it as a party-wide Buster up buff, I guess. It's kind of the same effect. Now, her Noble Phantasm is basically an AoE with some party defense up, 20%. And her overcharge is NP damage up, which does activate first, 10% up to 50%. So in Semiramis' case, it probably is a good idea to try to overcharge if possible, but the amount of damage extra that you get, nah. So put her higher up on an NP chain, but if you don't, if you can't do it, don't try to push it. Anyways, let's see her in action. Now. Semiramis can generate her arts, I'd have to say, pretty especially well. Now, her middle skill, her second skill, does have a NP generation rate up. I believe it's about 40% if you max it out. I think our skill's only like 4 or something, which would be like 26%, I think. So, yeah, let's just hit it and find out. And, you know, I'm was going to do an arts chain, but I'm going to do semi Ramus's Buster first, follow it up with a couple arts, maybe get a crit in there. Our semi Ramus is NP5, so we can go ballistic with her. That and those. And 104 starting. That's like, what, 32, 33, something like that? Our arts card's in the second two spots. That's kind of lackluster. But we didn't hit the middle skill. Kind of wanted to see it base. But yeah, I have to say that that's a little meh, right? But anyways, let's go ahead and mop this up. And on the next wave, I'll go ahead and do the Noble Phantasm. MP5 on the Noble Phantasm should hit pretty hard, right? The thing is, with one of her skills, if we want to actually do it, we need some crit stars, and it doesn't look like we're going to get it.
Uh. I was getting her noble phantasm up a bit more, right? It does increase her own MP damage, so at 200%, that'd be 20% more for her MP, and it looks like I'm one star shy of being able to actually do her third skill. Eh. Is what it is, right? And of course, no riders to work with. Yep. Need eight to do that. Probably should have done this earlier. Would have been better. Let's see. Nothing there worth anything. Well, we only got one thing weak to it. And let's just see what happens. And we'll throw in her and her. NP5, overcharge 2, a little bit of buff. Hundred ten thousand. Now two things weren't weak to it. Didn't have the third skill buff because we didn't have the crit stars. Didn't buff anything else. So let's see. Thirty-three, thirty-three. About you can add about sixty thousand to that. Hundred and seventy thousand. A little bit of tweak on buffs or whatever. It's it turns into a pretty good AOE. But not necessarily the best one you're going to get. But it's good. For an assassin, it's good. Assassins traditionally are kind of low, so yeah, I still like it. Now, getting her NP generated, it's fairly easy, right? She can get 30% right off the bat. She has the NP generation up bonus, help from others or whatever. Getting her Noble Phantasm, generating her arts, no big deal whatsoever. In terms of damage, AoE and such, it's actually pretty decent. Um, I'm not sure I would put it top tier, but it's pretty good. And the party-wide defense up. And, you know, that the party defense lasts three turns. I didn't even realize that. Good thing I keep notes, huh? So, overall, decent damage. A party defense. Useful overall. NP damage up for the overcharge. It's all about damage and a little bit of mitigation for the whole team. Maybe she's not so evil as we were led to believe. I don't know. But the question is, as always, do you need her in the group? Well... There's a lot of AOE assassins out there, but a vast majority of them are four stars. And these four stars don't really hold a candle, water, open a door? I don't know what the saying is, whatever. The Semi Ramus is better, okay? She's probably the best AOE assassin available in all actuality. So, do you need her? Well, if you need a good AoE assassin, yeah, hell yeah you do. And her utility, her overall abilities, I'd say she would fit really well into any group. So yes, I do recommend this character. Damage economy, the usual kind of deal, two to three copies of her at most. There's no need to go past that. And with that, she's still evil. Yep, she, yeah, she's evil. Okay. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Streaming right here on YouTube on occasion over at twitch.tv slash the Weeb Lounge. Playing some Toho Luna Nights pretty soon, I believe. And other anime kind of thingies. I want to get some Neptunia games in. I like Neptunia. Anyway, see you in the next video.